In an age where information is abundant and easily accessible through the click of a button, the concept of a human library emerges as a powerful and thought-provoking alternative. The human library is not about the printed word on pages bound by covers, it is about the living, breathing stories of individuals who open their lives to be borrowed by curious readers. This innovative and transformative concept, born in the early 2000s, aims to promote tolerance, understanding, and dialogue among people from diverse backgrounds and experiences. Let us delve into the origins, objectives, and impact of the human library concept, emphasizing its significance in a world characterized by increasing divisions and prejudices. Origins and Evolution of the Human Library The human library concept originated in Copenhagen, Denmark, in 2000, when a group of activists and students, led by Ronnie Abergill, sought a creative way to challenge stereotypes and break down prejudices in society. The idea was simple yet profound, instead of reading about a particular experience, readers would have the opportunity to borrow a human being who could share their personal experiences, struggles, and triumphs. To borrow a living book, patrons simply browse a catalog of available books and select one that interests them. They are then paired with the living book for a one-on-one -on -one conversation, which is typically facilitated by a trained volunteer. The conversation can last anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, and patrons are encouraged to ask questions and share their own experiences. The project quickly gained traction, evolving into a global movement with events and human libraries established in various countries. Over the years, the concept has expanded to include various categories of living books, including people from marginalized communities, survivors of hardships, and individuals with unique life experiences. Human libraries have been held in over 70 countries around the world, and they have been praised for their ability to break down barriers and promote understanding. The human library has played a vital role in fostering empathy, reducing discrimination, and promoting open and honest dialogues about societal issues. Objectives of the human library were 1. Combating stereotypes One of the primary goals of the human library is to challenge and dispel stereotypes and prejudices. By providing individuals with the opportunity to engage in conversations with people from different backgrounds, the human library helps to humanize those who may be stigmatized or misunderstood. 2. Fostering empathy The human library encourages readers to step into the shoes of others, providing a first-hand perspective on the challenges and triumphs experienced by the living books. This fosters empathy, understanding, and compassion, which are essential for building a more inclusive society. 3. Encouraging dialogue the Human Library promotes open and honest dialogue on topics that may be considered difficult or uncomfortable. It encourages the exchange of ideas, experiences, and perspectives, ultimately leading to a more informed and enlightened community. 4. Reducing Discrimination Through face-to-face -face interactions, the Human Library helps reduce discrimination and bias by highlighting the commonalities that connect us all as human beings. It emphasizes that, beneath the surface, we share similar hopes, fears, and aspirations. Impact of the Human Library The impact of the human library concept is tangible and far-reaching. One human library event in the United States featured living books who were homeless, incarcerated, and or LGBTQ+. Students who participated in the event reported that they learned a lot about these issues and that they were more likely to support social justice causes as a result. One study found that participants in a human library event were more likely to have positive attitudes towards people from different backgrounds after the event. Over the years, this innovative idea has touched the lives of both books and readers in profound ways. 1. Personal growth People who serve as living books often report personal growth and increased self-awareness. Sharing their experiences with others can be a therapeutic and empowering process. 2. Building bridges the Human Library has successfully built bridges between different communities, fostering greater harmony and understanding in society. It has become a symbol of unity in a world often divided by prejudice and discrimination. 3. Empowering Marginalized Voices By giving marginalized and underrepresented individuals a platform to share their stories, the Human Library empowers them to reclaim their narratives and challenge stereotypes that may have defined them. 4. 
education and awareness, the concept has found its way into educational institutions, allowing students to engage with real people and gain a deeper understanding of social issues, history, and culture. The Human Library is a concept that continues to evolve and make a significant impact on society by fostering understanding, empathy, and dialogue. In a world often characterized by division and misunderstanding, it serves as a powerful reminder that our stories, no matter how different, are interconnected in the grand narrative of humanity. By providing a platform for individuals to share their experiences and readers to listen and learn, the Human Library is turning the pages of human diversity and authoring a new chapter of compassion and tolerance in our shared story. As this concept continues to spread and develop, its contribution to a more inclusive and understanding society cannot be overstated. Human libraries are open to everyone, and they are a great way to learn more about the world around you. If you have the opportunity to attend a Human Library event, I highly encourage you to do so. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and press the bell icon, if you wish to see more such videos in future. Created by Sasanka Da Silva Thanks for watching.